Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome to my playthrough of The Witchy Tree Wild Hunt. I am going to play on the Death March uh, difficulty because I want to make this a let's play hard in the trend that I did uh, Bloodborne in. And uh, well, I've played through the campaign once. Uh, I pre it uh, actually to the, the main quests mostly, so I haven't played most of the side quests, so I intend to play most of those and explain them in detail lore-wise. So what I used to do, what I usually do in my playthroughs is that I, uh, especially in the RPG playthroughs, I like to talk a bit about the lore of the game, uh, go into depth into the characters, etc, etc. So, as I said, I will start at uh, fresh start on the Death March difficulty. I don't know if this will work. I hope I have uh, practiced enough. And I think after Bloodborne, this should also work. So um, I'm recording this a few days after Hearts of Stone, the first expansion, came out. So this is already installed as well, as you can see by the looks of the main menu. So well, that's uh, about my intro about it. I've read a few of the books, so I'm uh, quite up to date about the lore and the backstory of Geralt and his friends. So yeah, let's go. I hope you enjoy. I'll put the tutorials on. And some new pitch to save. Thank you. 
doesn't look pleasant. You know I don't find that amusing. Well, why would she even think that? It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Starting off in true Witcher style. With naked people. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Keeping that focus right. Oh. So that's Yennefer. And this is us. When store weapons, armor, and junk in your stash for safekeeping comforted, they will not be stolen or otherwise disappear. You can access your stash in a number of places throughout the world. Items stored in your stash in one location will be available in all other locations as well. Okay. Welcome to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This tutorial will introduce the game's core mechanics. Each message will be saved in the glossary where you'll also find details and information. Okay, so I'm first gonna do a quick recap of what we saw at the beginning. So the beginning cinematic was uh, Geralt and Vesemir, his mentor, uh, in search of Yennefer and we were going back and forth between what happened to Yennefer uh, at that battle between the Guardians and the Temerians, I think. So uh, Yennefer is a sorceress and is Geralt's long-lost love because Geralt lost his memory in the first Witcher and finally retrieved it back at the end of Witcher 2. So Witcher 3 starts off with Geralt searching for Yennefer. So this is in fact a dream because we saw Geralt sleeping before we went into this scene and he looks, well, a lot younger. And if you've read the books, you'd know that Yennefer actually never came to Kaer Morhen, which is the place we are right now, which is the stronghold of all the Witchers. So, minimap. So that's Yennefer, I think we can talk to her. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I want to stay with you a little longer. I missed you. A lot. And I missed you. But we'll have plenty of time to make up for that. Go and train with her. Then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Yes, we have. Have we ever thought of you? Carol is kind of the womanizer type. So that's Yennefer. Of Vengerberg, because all their uh, last names are a bit. Well, the names are all a bit based on several languages. So we'll take a look at that gorgeous view out of Kerborn. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Don't need to curse about it. Okay, I know Witcher senses. So the Witcher senses allow us to focus on what's important in the environment. 
Okay, check that out. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Okay. What's this? Oh, nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Oh, I'm sorry, milady. Seems to be her outfit. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. <laughs> oh, chicka bow -wow. I think I'm gonna be saying that a lot. Hmm, what's this? Looks well, like perfume. Berries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Fingering? So yeah, Lilac and Gooseberries is the, the trademark fragrance that uh, Yennefer uses as a perfume. P. There we go. So Kaer Morhen is one big old fortress where all the witchers are trained and come back regularly. Old witchers fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. And Vesemir is one of the oldest is is the oldest one of the bunch. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. And there's Siri. Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. Had her taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendiums, right? Bruges is actually close to where Y lives. How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. We spoiled her. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to <laughs> end. Now. Killing this... monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. So Ceres is uh or Zirael <laughs> is Geralt's adopted daughter. Sort of. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! So they crossed a few times before Geralt decided to take her in and train her to become a witcher herself. And it's apparently not going that well. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? <laughs> All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. So she's a bit of a rebel. Better not. Better not. 
Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Okay, that was a bit awkward. So, as I mentioned before, uh, the fact that Siri is... Uh, what did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Still a little girl. Indicates, again, that this is a dream. Siri, cut it out. Or at least a memory. I'm faster than you. I still think I the win. controls are a bit clunky. Yep. So, up for some training. Let's go receive your punishment, little lady. So those are the other two witchers. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did, Reed. Gotcha. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Won't weasel out of this. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Lambert Carol, and Eskel. With me, Lambert with Eskel, I Siri forgot the names the of those two uh, other witchers. Stop groaning and grab a sword. So, introductions. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? I think it would be good to uh, refresh my controls a bit. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Ease me back into it. Draw your sword, Garrot! Witchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plate clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone crushing giants. To match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witches need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trades are swords. One steel for fighting humans and non-humans, human beasts, the other silver for slaying monsters, everything else. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. So that are, those are the three main, well, areas of expertise we can go into, so physical combat, magic or alchemy. So, I'm gonna draw my sword. And he seems to be a menacing target. Press R3 to the Okay, there we go. Quick cuts. One, two, three. One, two, three. Strikes now. Give it all you get. 
Never lock your elbow when striking. Strike. Dodge. Cool. Position Siri. Footwork. Remember. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Now, parry. Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword and its angle. Okay. So this automatically deflects most blows. And now live late. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Maybe a storm. Damn it! Okay, actually pause there. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches signs. Let's start with Quen. Okay. Siri, so Quen is sometimes called a witcher's shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Now let Vesemir do the explanation. Me, I want to see sparks fly. <laughs> if not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. All right, Geralt, come on. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off. <laughs> Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Yeah. Actually, can really muddle your mind. So that's Quen as a shield. You can need to cast fire or Show as a telekinetic down. blast. Axie to start controlling the minds of others. And the last one is Irden, which casts a it magic trap. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Okay. Oh. And those were bombs, so that's for quick use items. Not bad. Yeah. And you can quick throw them or just Fine. use. Enough. Continue training at will. So I'm gonna sheet my sword. Okay, thanks. Basics of combat. Whoa, you really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. It's a bit weird because they switch Find between. Find that helmet? These pre-rendered cinematics, which you can sometimes see because of the change in uh, in wardrobe, Siri? but the quality is also a bit lower, and the endgame weapons. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. There seems to be something wrong with the dummy she was fighting. What the? Because that looks like blood. And it's snowing. And there's the wild hunts. And awake again. You all right? 
right. <laughs> Had a nightmare. So it's been Above. a few years since the previous witches, Take since the witch to too. explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. I dreamt of Kermorin. Started in the guest room at Kermorin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me. Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. We will, not worried about that. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wild lands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. So she's also a bit of a... Well, let's call it a strong-willed woman. Because most people always call her a bitch, but... I think that's just a reaction to people that people have towards strong women. At least in games. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Time to go. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. There we have that again. We're gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> well, yeah, in the books they, uh, they always talk about the stuffed unicorn they have, which they kind of use, yeah, as a bad as putting it lightly. There were other activities in there. Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. <laughs> Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? Yep. I smell it. Ghouls. Okay. Life on the continent and in the Skellige Isles is nasty, brutish and so short. War lays waste to the land and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads indicating that you should fight them with your silver, sh silver, silver sword. So I'm gonna start by activating Quen to have a, a bit of a oh.
Oh wow, okay, that was the worst. This is starting off great. Okay, that one great. So, let's try this again. actually break through my Quen. That's better. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require consumer adrenaline points. Of course, when armies pass, necrophages follow. That's why so I can't regenerate vitality by just med meditating. So I will be keeping a close eye on my vitality. I'm gonna cut out most of the looting because, well, we don't need to see that. Third skull. In black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Because it is. Bandits calling themselves Temeria soldiers are hiding in nearby woods. They have been declared outlaws and a threat to the Emperor's subjects. Consisting of sheltering them in any way will be summarily punished to the fullest extent permitted by Imperial law. On behalf of the Emperor of Nilfgaard, Captain Peter Sor will leave. So yeah, the new guardians are the ones in the black one that we saw at the beginning. And also the ones that won the war. Or are the ones at least. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Where do you think you're going? Come back! Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses they prevent epidemics. 
Witchers spend most of their time in the room in search of their next contract. They must track across wild, wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Gary Fernandez can his horse Roach to help him in his travels. Yeah, I'm gonna be saving a lot. Hmm. To avoid that Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. <laughs> So a lot of villages are being raided by soldiers or bandits. Welcome to our shit -o. That's a great introduction. Seems to be the problem, sir. Oh. That was a hit, apparently. There goes the entire horse. Has it gone? Vesemir is wounded. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. <laughs> you'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Well, we'll... keep that for us for now. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They it's also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yep. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad yeah. idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. So that, that was karma paying off immediately. A new entry has been added to the best cherry. I'll check that every now and then so we keep uh, ourselves up to date on what we find. Come on. Slower. Whoa. 
Is there any? So beautiful. That wasn't very nice. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. So there's some trouble brewing because of the hostile takeover. Yeah, war is never good on anyone. What? Witches? I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. Okay. Let's ignore that comment for now. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Ooh. Options marked. We'll open the shop panel. Okay. Is there a contract on the griffin? There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. I should stop Used saying the things I'm going to say. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. That's harsh. So the Black Ones are the Nilf Guardians that we talked about. Show me what you got. Show me what you got behind the counter. Okay, I think I know that. So, torch, we have some roasted chicken legs. And we can sell her the hide we found. So, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, we can even sell her that. I'm gonna wait for now. I'm gonna check out what I can buy actually. Some Gwent cards. Uh, Gwent is a playable card game, uh, of which we'll get an introduction in a minute, I think. So I'm gonna buy one bottle of Dwarven Spirit because I'm gonna need that later on, and then I'm gonna buy some food. Five seconds, fifty for five seconds, fifty for ten seconds. But it's more expensive. So I'm gonna buy some bread. And then five uh, two water. Don't be too hasty with my money. 
Okay. That's it. Looking for a woman. Looking I did for it a again. woman. Raven haired, violet Sorry. eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. <laughs> I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. The old like Jennifer. Plenty travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Okay. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Thank you. Thanks. For everything. So, let's ask around a bit. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Okay, Vesemir. We'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. I'm looking for someone. Hello, peasants. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Options marked with that symbol will make use of the Axis sign. This sign influences people's mind, causing them to act according to your will to charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during conversation. Invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. But for now, we'll try that. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Kitty. Galloping so fast she I knocked Radabor kitty. into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Ooh. That was... risky. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. Oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hello, kitty. Can I pet you? Okay. Once more, there are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own okay. face cards. There are also special cards. Wouldn't you rather play war? Quant. What a waste of time. The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenford. Ooh, love that accent. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman, long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. A horsewoman of war? Horsewoman of war. What's that about? Folk say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with Sounds misfortune. Like her. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Why are you here? Oh, sorry, sorry. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Hmm. That's an interesting choice. I never talked to this guy the first time around. Hmm. I don't think he'll find much good in war. Take my advice. 
Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend, no tenure to gain, end notes to compile. First soldier you see will kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. I hope he gets the picture. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. Um. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Okay. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. I already know the rules, so let's do this. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. So, in Gwent, the rules are really simple. You only get 10 cards, and it's just a matter of having more points than your opponent, and you need to win two rounds with the same cards. So I'm gonna skip through all that. There's three lanes, and each lane can be affected by a weather card. Okay, didn't have a chance to swap two cards, but that'll be for the tutorial. So, let's go. So let's see what we have. So that's the one that adds one for all the units in a row. I'm gonna save that for the ballista. So that starts in the middle. Here we go. And what other weather cards? I have siege combat cards. So I'm gonna keep putting them a bit in a spread. Although I'm gonna keep them, yeah, I'm gonna keep them here. So when you use a weather card, you reduce the strength of all units on those areas to one each. Okay. I'm gonna try and win this first one. Just putting one on each. I'm not gonna play out my cards just yet. That's kinda in his bad side, no? So as you can see now, all the soldier units are uh, reduced to a strength of one. I'm gonna do the same thing but for his siege weapons. So give him media advantage. So it's always a matter of trying to decide what to use first and to not overdraw your cards in this impenetrable fog. Okay. This is a tough one. So adding cards now will not do me any good and he'll have to draw two cards to win this round so I'm gonna pass. So, okay. Nilfgaard wins a tie. Oh, okay, I forgot about that one. So each faction has a, an extra effect. With that effect being... I'm going to test past. Because he thinks I won't do anything or what? Oh, that's annoying. So I'm going to just do that. And I'm just past because I win this round. Now it's just a matter of who's got the best cards left. And I get a card because I won. So let's start with this. I think I'm good to go. Huh. But I can nullify that card as well, so I think I'm good. Yep. I'm gonna even play it. I mean, it's over. I won. It's a really simple game, but it can be a bit of a bitch to decide when to pass and when not to pass. And there we have it. Tips. So another thing we did see in this round is there are hero cards and those are immune to effects of special cards such as those weather cards. And you can get more cards by winning matches or buying them. 
Well, well, you've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Skulker. You've got a new Gwent part. Assault and Shivei. Oh, wow. So, like, add that to the deck. Okay. Look at that. Let's go through the tutorial really quickly. Look at that. Nice. So that's all right, I think. Collect them all. New quests. I'm gonna talk to this lovely fellow last. Gaunter, I think it's looking saying. for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Mine. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? Have you seen her or not? Yennefer wow. of Wengerberg. That was oddly specific. So I guess that's a yes. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Nose Guardian Lemon. Thank you. Um... What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gauntero Deem, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Sounds cool. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. Dandelion. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. So Dandelion is the bard and a good friend of ours, which... He gets himself to trouble more than once. So, yeah. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. I was avoiding the question. You yeah, seem to have deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Yes, it is. Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. So he knows her by description, Thanks. but not when he sees her? We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Wait, what the? Where did he go? That was a quick disappearance. So that'll do it for part one. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. Wave at Geralt.